Hi everybody, it's Robin Heron, your carnivorous grandma here. I recently got tagged in the meatloaf relay by Ellie at Nourishment Redacted. And um, so today I'm going to be making my version of the meatloaf. If you guys haven't been, see been seeing this, it is being hosted by Christy at Meeting Wellness. So we started with a basic meatloaf recipe, which was two pounds of ground beef, two eggs, a half a cup of pork rind crumbs, and salt. And Christy made that. And then she called out Erin at Brewing Better Living, and she added cheese. Next, we had Rhonda at Carnivore Leo, who added bacon. Ellie at Nourishment Redacted added cream cheese and changed the form to meatballs. In my version of the meatloaf, I'm going to be adding pork Italian sausage and changing the form back to a loaf. So my version of the meatloaf will have a pound of ground beef, a pound of pork Italian sausage, two eggs, one half cup of pork rind panko, cream cheese, regular cheese, bacon. So let's go ahead and get started. Ground beef. <laughs> Two eggs. Sweet Italian sausage. Pork rind panko. Cream cheese. Pepper jack cheese and bacon. So step one is going to be to par cook the bacon. I'm gonna bake this for about, I don't know, maybe about 10 minutes in a 375 degree oven to cook it halfway. in the oven for about 10 minutes. Our next step is going to be to prepare our pork, pork rind panko. This is super easy to do. So I have um, a little bit of regular pork rinds. This is just pork rinds and salt. I'm going to add this to my ninja cup. this up. And there you have it, pork rind panko. So um, since our meatloaf is going to have cheese, I'm using uh, this block cheese. It is my local grocery store brand. I typically uh, add something spicy like Rotel uh, to my uh, meatloaf. But since we are not eating Rotel, because that is a tomato product, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to make it with this pepper jack cheese and see how that goes. So I'm going to use probably three quarters of this block of uh, pepper jack cheese. So next step is gonna be to shred that.
Now you can use the packaged shredded cheese if that's your preference. I don't prefer to use that because it does have starch as a, an agent to keep it from sticking together. So here's how the cheese looks as it's shredded up. So I got a new pan for this recipe um, because I wanted to be able to pull out the meatloaf once it's cooked. Um, so this is my new Rachel Ray two-piece meatloaf pan. I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this and wash it up and then we'll get prepared to start making the meatloaf. All right, let's assemble. ground beef that I get from my local rancher. Just one pound of ground beef. I have one pound of Italian sausage. I'm going to remove it from its casings. I get these cage-free eggs from Costco. Now, let me show you what spices I'm using. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Redmond's Real Salt Seasoned Salt. Also, I'm putting a little bit of Slap Your Mama and a tiny bit of cayenne pepper, some Redmond's Smoked Real Salt. So, let's see how much we want to use. I don't usually measure things. I just go by feel, like, does it feel like enough? I'm gonna do three quarters of a teaspoon of organic seasoned salt. And we'll see how that feels. Get there. I'm gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of the smoked salt. Want it to be too salty, but I want to kind of get get that smoky flavor in there. I'm gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of well, I don't know. Let me think about this. I'm gonna use a quarter of a teaspoon of slap your mama. We'll mix this up and then we'll see how it smells. And if it smells strong enough, then we'll, we'll be done. We'll see how that goes. An eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's gonna be spicy. Okay. So, I'm also adding my cheese to this. As well as half a cup of pork rind panko. Half a cup. So I think the thing about meatloaf is you want it to be tender. So the least amount that you can mix this, the better. So here's how the bacon looks. I just pre-cooked it a little bit and we're gonna put this on top of this meatloaf. The least amount that you can mix this, the better. So that's why I put everything in and I'm gonna go in with my hands and mix it all together. Okay, 
That's that. We're done with the mixing. Let me wash my hands. Here's the pan. So what are we going to do here? We're gonna split this in half, actually. And I'm gonna just put half of it in. Then I'm gonna put some cream cheese. center there. Now we're going to put the top half on. Now we're going to put bacon. I'll just wash my hands real quick and then I'll show you guys how it looks. This is what it looks like. I'm going to put this in the oven on 350 degrees for 55 minutes. So my meatloaf just came out of the oven and I wanna just show you what it looks like. I'm going to let this cool for a little bit and then we're going to give it a taste. Okay, so this has been cooling for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. So um, I'm just going to let this drip for a sec. And then I'm going to put it on this separate pan here. This is what the grease looks like inside. Um, you guys can see that. Oh, there we go. That's how that looks. I'm not gonna use this for anything because it's got cheese in it. So, um, okay. This is how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and I see that my cheese came out the side. Oh my gosh. Let's get a knife. All right, so I am passing the baton to Nia at Nia's Way. Nia, do your thing, girl.